Welcome back. I am Count Ronald Swan. There were some slight changes. I have um, filled the overdrive bar for both Yu Yuna and Lulu and Valifor for some upcoming boss fight extravaganza that I happen to suspect is coming. I mean, again, I have played this game before. Told this tale, as it were. told this tale, I suppose. I hope that you're well. Oh, they'll have such kind things to say to Yuna before she goes on her big trip. of a ring. Did a little leveling, got a little gold. Of course, just got a little more there. That ball really floats, interestingly enough. Boo! This guy has impressive upper body strength. You had better be looking respectfully. <laughs> I don't know who you are or where you came from. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. First to Kilika Island. Then we change boats and head for Luka. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Auroch's victory too, so you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. If only it was a warm summer breeze. It is a super hot summer night filled with fireworks here. Ooh, those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Yeah! Filthy! Filthy! These won't sell. All me name's not a waka. 
don't look like you got much money either. I've no business with you. Add him away. Who do you think you are? Awaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. I'm something of a merchant myself, actually. But someday, the name Awaka will be spoken all over Spira. Hmm? Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly, lad. Fine seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. What the heck is that? What the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? <laughs> hmm. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. Oh, chocobos. I love you so much, Chocobo friends. Loyal, faithful, fast birds. Definitely not lizards. Well, well. Well, well, well. Yeah, seems like that's that. They do say there's no such thing as a free lunch. Restricted area! Our operation depends on this cargo. I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. Word is, that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. You don't say. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. I don't know who you are, or where you came from. Hmm. Lord Braska's daughter? She just might have a chance. We'll get her to Kilika, we will. She does have a name, you know. Yuna. Hmm, Lady Yuna. Well then, we pray for Lady Yuna's safe passage. 
Was that a dolphin out there? Holy smokes. The wind. It's nice. Mm. <laughs> Teenagers. You'll have to forgive them. We've all been young. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. <laughs> but I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Hmm. Jeff. Jack. My father. His name is Jack. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Mm. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. Did he now? I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But, uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? The... the <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? How did you get you here? here? Are you not? Oh, she's a smart cookie, isn't she? Unlike this dumb dumb. Lady Summoner. Wait! Oh boy!
best plan ever conceived, but there is bravery. So we're going to make sure everyone participates in the battle, real quick. Make sure they all get a hit out, and then we will have Yuna summon Valifor to wipe the field. Kamari rather than doing what I wanted to do. My apologies. <laughs> You'd think after a bit I would uh, learn the controls. How many of these things are there? What? We hit the fin first? No one said that. provide quite a bit of additional health and their overdrives come very quickly compared to that. There is however no way to assist them in their battles. Is unfortunately in far too dangerous of a position. Such an interesting battle. A very well designed encounter. That will do it.
got even worse now. You know, that paddle is pretty high out of the water if you're looking to get good transfer of energy. More than friends now, they're brothers. Healer that will make this very difficult. This seems bad. Is bad. Thinking right now, perhaps I should have spent a bit more time getting these two to a full overdrive. A foolish, foolish oversight. Fortunately, they seem very prepared to undertake this battle. The drain touch dodging is critical. We will probably need to heal immediately after this attack. And by probably, I mean absolutely, of course. level ups. A harpoon and a shield. That is very bad.
pretty cruel. A very cruel cinematic. Looked like there was a building on top of Sin. Yes, there's a city there. Well, more like a village. The hollow cruelty of that blitz bar. When Sin attacks Anarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. The ancient and sacred art of Lap Pillow. A very Japanese thing. Greetings. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Bisaid. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks, BT. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Huh? A lot of people really love this story. Particularly this part. Uh, what's ascending? Are we going somewhere? <sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? <laughs> the dead need guidance. Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The Sending takes them to the Far Plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm.
quite some symbology walking on water. It must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew, from the beginning, what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? What's the end? until she defeats Sin. Oh. I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm hmm? Uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow, horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. What a mood whip last year. This hyper kid over here. Hey, you awake? Captain Walker's waiting for you. Be said our ox, puddle. On to the temple where we pray for victory. Go! 
High Summoner O'Holland used to live in the Kilika Temple here. Yep, Lord O'Holland was once a great blitzer, you know. Waka. Hmm? Praying for victory is all good. Ugh, but is this right? Something wrong with enjoying Blitzball? Is this really the time? This is the only time. The players fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Whatever you say. Let's play and win. Right? Right. Temple's beyond the jungle there. Let's go. Honestly, I should have done this earlier. Guessing that that was what I needed for Kimari Ronso. Excellent. Asking yourself, why do they live on the water when they've got some nice foundations in the form of a stone island? When the morning changed, nothing had happened. Probably should have saved. Yuna's saying she wants you with us. Huh? I want to ask you to be my guardian. You know what? There's no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. 
Ah. What? What do you mean? <laughs> it's just that... Well... We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. My apologies. Why don't you use Lancet on it? What's a Lancet? Normally, it's a skill that weakens enemies and heals the user. But when a Ronso uses it, that Ronso can sometimes learn Fiend's abilities. Hey, sounds cool! Trying to make sure the whole team got in on it. The password B C O I U. B H C A O S I O D U. Did that make sense? I don't think so. I should probably write this one down though. <laughs> So I can learn Scan and Jinx or make my way around here as quickly as possible to start him off on strength. Oh, he's just a little ways away from Titus. This way is blocked. Seems like he's a bit cornered in here. And this, oh, Waka. Lulu. He is. Yuna. Huh. Must be Riku here. How very adaptable of this man. I think I do want scan because we don't always know that we'll have a weapon with it. And taking him around in the circle will buy us time until we figure out where we want to go. Unfortunate as that is.
No good. It's too fast. I can take care of those alone, huh? Booyah! Ah, I should have brought Yuna out first, actually. I wonder if rather than coming out and leveling these continuously, I should just let them build up for a while. I wish I could ask you, audience, but I fear that you are not here. Let's think. Focus on the fight! No worries! I did it correctly this time. Nothing to fear, the hero's here! Certainly thinks quite highly of himself. Have to appreciate that. Going to pre-stage Valifor here for any boss fights. He just attacks, he'll probably top off and pop off. I suppose we're about to find out. Not even close. And there it is. Think you are? Just beat this thing straight forward again. We could just have bombed it with Lulu, but we are trying to spread experience around, so things will take a little bit longer in that regard. My 
my turn now! Shield us from thunderous bane! Anyone thirsty? I think most of the viewers are thirsty. <laughs> sure I'm ready for that yet. I want to head back to the save sphere. Oh. Let us guardians handle the likes of these. You'd best stop that. Walker's in charge of flyers, remember? <laughs> Not one lose on the case. No good. It's too fast. Yeah. So you say. Can't hurt it, huh? Stop. Only magic can hurt this one. We're going to head to the menu to heal up and commit to leveling. I don't know what that does, but it may be worth breaking off for two turns, one to come up here and grab it, and then another to return. Well, 
That gets us through that. Looks like Titus is staged for victory here. Well, not much I can do about it. They're both critical. They've become very strong. Lux Sphere allows us to go to those places where there is nothing on the sphere grid and to place a new spear of some kind. The Lux Spear specifically requires a Fortune Spear, which we don't have, which is why we're not going to use it right now. We'll want to use it on someone for whom luck will be a boon, which is almost everyone. I think physical attackers will find it more helpful than not. That almost could have been bad. We do find ourselves almost with a full deck of overdrives. Should be the solution to an upcoming boss fight. That is why we are staging ourselves. We're going to head back to the save sphere now to heal up. Mm, yes, I... I think we can probably limp through two or more battles back. We are going to go full swing. You called? Rather than try to maximize. Ha! Leave that one to loot. XP for the moment. Actually, a perfect matchup.
You see, we have one ability sphere left. And we have this thing called extract ability, and that's what I'm thinking we need. I think it might allow us to extract ability spheres from opponents. We are critically low, and we're coming up on several abilities. If we hold it for our man Walker, he may allow us to cash in on a nice little set of boons. See if we could use the Lux Sphere. We're not going to, but we could. We'll have Titus hold there for the moment. Once Waka, assumably, again, assumably, brings us in some ability spheres. We want Yuna on the back line because we need everyone else to get into the battle. Company, halt! The and then we'll have Valifor. Lord of the Wood. Oh. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. Standing go. The Ochu is no good. We could throw a hundred crusaders at it and still lose. Time for you. What am I supposed to do? Right stick, right stick. Oh boy, I did not pay attention to that. Hmm.
sure, I don't think you've seen this yet. Let's do it. I believe Grand Summoning fills his bar. Yes, it will literally... Could have just regular summoned, actually. Honestly, probably would have been a better idea. With this thing asleep, we would have been able to knock out some free hits. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Bringing him out wasn't the mistake, but... Bringing him out with Grand Summon, it's fine. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to have Yuna get beaten up before the next major boss fight. You know, I probably should use the other one, the other energy ray at some point, so you can see what it looks like. You, Valfor. Be back soon, my friend. Wow, he was gaining quite a bit of health. Very quickly. him with a splash attack. Well, we blew through quite a few overdrives, and yet we got it done. Whoa. A summoner and her guardians. Very impressive. Sir, we should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young crusaders gather around. We'll beat sin into the ground. What does our overdrive status look like? Kind of not good. How about our man Valifor? Yes, he's also got some problems. Ow! I fear that after this battle, I may depart you for some time, my friends. To, uh... Grind. Let us guardians handle the likes of these. Grind the uh, 
build the drag back up. I mean, it's not totally necessary, but it is funny. And very helpful. I don't think you want to come along for that particular ride either. It will be a while. Thank you. This rod of wisdom is excellent. Very well, let's save. I will see you all on the flip side of things. Welcome back. Some slight changes here on the sphere grid. As you can see, we've advanced a little bit. Titus is now a time mage. Walker has extractability, which is how we managed to afford all of the new abilities. There's Focus, which I don't know what that does. Life brings people back to life. Kamari picked up many abilities. Extract Mana. Scan. Jinx. For Overdrives, we're sitting at everybody but Kimari. So let's move ahead. Shall we? Ah. Hey! After the tournament, you should join the Crusaders. Do your best, kid. Waka's counting on you. Mmm, elixir. Hope I make it to the tournament. Unfortunately, leave Yuna out of the experience gain, but... Such things happen. Hmm, I think I must have gone the wrong way. Lulu is hitting incredibly hard. Simply unbelievably hard, actually. Considering she started at, what, 350, 400 something, and now she's up to pushing into 500. <laughs> That's the person I wanted. Nah. So that's what that does. Serum Bangle. Who uses bangles? Interesting.
I paused there for a moment. I just kind of lost myself in the in the moment here. Uh, I should have swapped in for one of the backliners. There we go. Again. Huh? Like this is where we're supposed to be going. left out again. Which is odd, because she's the character you would really want to have the most power, because her power increases the Aeon's power. She'll be something of a main character, I would think. Just in my recollection. The story that I used to be told. These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> a race, huh? <clears throat> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh, ready! <laughs> hey! Hey! Ah, huh? Hey! What's it like getting wrecked? <laughs> Kids. There's a save sphere right there. Let's take advantage of it, and then we will reassemble our party. Let's see here. Uh, we want Yuna on the back line, so we have to switch to her. <laughs> and Lulu. So we have to switch to her. Is that Chocobos I'm hearing? Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! that we would move to specifically get surrounded. Not exactly the greatest strategy.
his. We're gonna cycle around until we have Kimari to give this thing a scan. Then we will unleash Valifor. Yep, it's still further down, scan. Unless the scan comes up with something interesting. Let's take a look here. Deflects physical attacks. Use fire magic. Very well. to the party, pal. It's quite damaging. Feels like a pretty clean victory. We still have most of our overdrives, honestly. <sighs> Yeesh! <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. B being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Nah. <sighs> So, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. Hmm. so quiet just being on the menu now. Do I want to go down here? Possibly. I think so. We need to burn time before Kamari ends up locked in every direction. Oh, and, you know, he could certainly do that. We will need to reset Valifor. So, uh, they got fiends in Xenarchan too? Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? 
Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Mm. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. Lulu laying out some harsh truths. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. What do you think the odds are that we won't go there? What do you think, taxpayers? You here to pray for victory too? Us? Pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left. Just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Nah. Hmm. The Temple of Fire, I see. That would imply to me that we're about to pick up Ifrit or whichever of his versions may exist. Ifrit is uh, the headliner for the upcoming Final Fantasy 16 game. Seems like he's as much of the main character as any of the humans. I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. A summoner, I. My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summon Nebraska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? 
I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. Hmm. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. <sighs> A guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? <laughs> wasn't a bad speech on your part, Yuna. Wasn't a bad speech. The faith is below. Let's do it! The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Oh. Ah! Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um... We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Go! Hey, what's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. It's treason then. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. Yes, that's that. The logic of the young. <laughs> I guess it's too late now. Better to ask forgiveness than permission.
If it's an omelet, well, that's not bad. was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what? Sorry? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. Something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. Mm. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come.
We are going to need to level a freed overdrive before we check out of here. I suppose Valifor as well. Don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> My understanding screaming can help, actually. Yes, yes, it's nothing you haven't seen before. It's valuable. Not that he isn't wonderful. Capable of dominating the battlefield and eliminating all enemies. Boost to invite it to hit. Very effective. Incredible. Will you help us? Even on the miss, he gains so much.
the good news is that we are, um, I wouldn't say over leveled, but we are properly powerful for the next particular section, I think. It will be a short while before we face any bosses, question mark? Either way, as you can see, we've got a full line of overdrives. Just need this guy to hit Kimari. No? Didn't get that level of luck, huh? Oh well. I think we're going into one of the most difficult skill sections of the game. It may require me to restart several times. So I hope you'll bear with me through that. And then I think that will probably wrap this particular section up. Hmm. Off to Luca at last. The matches start soon as we get there, so rest up on the way, yeah? This was the same music playing at the very beginning when Xanar, I believe was his name, was commentating on the upcoming Blitzball match. It might not mean much, but good luck in the tournament. Ah, thank you very much. Best to let him sleep. Indeed. Best to let him sleep. They ask a fortune for rags in Besaid and Kileka. Well... My business is in shambles. What's an Oaka to do, I ask ye? The mind spotting me some guilt. I'll make it up to ye. Yes, you will. Some people can be so rude. La 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 Well I'd like to say I'm not a gentleman for gossip, but that would be a lie. Well, say something. You'll take responsibility. <laughs> Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not? He could always join a Blitz team. Anyhow, it's better than just leaving him in Besaid. What? Just leaving him in Luca? What do you want me to do? You know wants to make him a guardian. Oh yeah, jeez. 
fault is that too, eh? And whose fault is that? Not mine! It is mine, huh? Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. Okay? Okay? That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean... He's gotta decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right, for once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best. Why don't you tell him he should? Should what? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine? Aren't you being oversensitive? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. <laughs> These two. He doesn't like his father. Apparently, he told Yuna as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about them. I... I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Sin just takes everything away from us. I'm sorry. I need some time to think. Go to bed, bud. Tournament starts tomorrow morning. She does seem to be the one thinking. Someone's bound to recognize you when they see your moves out there, huh? I do believe your Xanarkind exists. I really do, you know? Hmm. Mm. Well, it's true. Luka Goas are the favorite team to win. Before we go too much farther, it's time for me to begin the suffering, and I no longer have the reflexes I did as a much younger man. This is, however, of critical importance. Well, well. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No, no one, one else, else can, can do, do it. it. I'm, I'm the, the best. <laughs> what a rude and arrogant man. Reject shot challenge. Memories of that day still haunt Titus and interfere with his concentration. 
Try to shake off the memories and successfully perform the jack shot. You can't do no it. You can't. Can do you it. can't do it. <laughs> You're out of your league. No one else. You can't do it. Out of your league. Uh, no one else. No one else can do it. Did I do it? Huh. <laughs> really? Very well. The best. Yeah. Right. I remember that being much more difficult. Whoa! What's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? That was the jack shot, wasn't it? Uh. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the sublimely magnificent jack shot Mark III. <laughs> what a name. <sighs> Stupid name, huh? No, it's excellent. You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jack was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again! Yo! I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. I'm honestly shocked. Citizens, taxpayers, our time together is at an end once again. Please, if you would, take care of yourself. Grab some water. Rest your eyes. Stand up and move around. Your jaw. 
Make sure you're not tightening it too much. And, of course, I'll see you soon.